This is 10% more status. This game can be done as a whole class or it can be done with each student partnered up with everyone doing it at the same time. If you're doing it as a whole class, you'll have your students line up in two columns in the back of the stage. The first two people will come forward and you will give them some sort of an event, such as Halloween. The first person will say something, very boring statement about Halloween. This Halloween, we're decorating with skeletons. The person they're with is then going to use their status and try and one-up them. And so they might say, oh, well, this Halloween, we are going to have a fog machine in our yard. The next person might say something like, oh, well, you know, our skeletons aren't just going to be paper. They're going to be animatronic made by the same person who did Pirates of the Caribbean. And they're each going to take turns one-upping themselves and one-upping the person next to them. Remind them that they should be using their voices and their body postures uh, of high status characters. Once that's gone on a little while, you'll stop it and have them start back with their original statement of this Halloween, I am going to be decorating with skeletons. And they're going to try and 10% lower their status. And so all of a sudden their body posture should start to show poor poorer status and their voices and the way that they look at the other person and they'll start making it worse and worse and worse so it might go from we're gonna have skeletons oh well at our house we didn't decorate at all so it got egged oh well you know this year we decided to just egg our own house because it was so bad and so they'll go ahead and try and lower their status as much as they possibly can let's go ahead and get an event for these two you're in vacation to the Bahamas. Yes. Ah, all right. So your vacations to the Bahamas, and what kind of relationship can they have to each other? Mother, daughter. Mother and daughter talking about their vacation to the Bahamas. <coughs> Mother, daughter. Okay. I get it. Dude, at my trip to the Bahamas, it was great. I didn't have any of you kids around, and it was just me and your father. <laughs> <laughs> On my trip to the Bahamas, I ended up going on a cruise. Man, I got to go snorkeling, and I saw a shark, and it was like about to eat me. I just punched it in the face, and it walked away. Well, <laughs> on my trip to the Bahamas, the shark that you punched actually came to me, and now it's my pet. Man, I got to ride a seahorse, and it was like this big, and it just toted me around. It was pretty great, man. Well, my siblings and I all got to ride seahorses. I was in command of the lead seahorse, so I had an army of fish at my disposal. <laughs> all right, let's start lowering those statuses. Dude, at my trip to the Bahamas, like, I almost drowned. I just got caught in one of those rip currents and just... <clears throat> <laughs> On my trip to the Bahamas, I got I got lost in a stranded island. Oh, wow. All the food at my hotel, like, had rat poison in it. <laughs> so I ate a hamburger and then spent the next day just throwing up. <laughs> On my trip to the Bahamas, there was no food on that island. I fell out my two-story, like, window onto just a bunch of rocks on the beach. <clears throat> I had to spend the next week at the hospital. Um, the island was on a cliff. I fell off the cliff. <laughs> My plane crashed on the way home, and I ended up in, like, southern Texas for no reason. All right, let's go ahead, Dad. <laughs> Always ending your stuck in Texas. All right, next two up.